हेलो चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू द स्मार्ट वर्ल्ड स्कूल ऑफ कंप्लीट लर्निंग सो आर टूडेज चैप्टर इज हाउ सीजन अकॉ ओके सो देर इज अ पार्ट फॉर यू वे हैव टू वे यू हैव टू रिकॉल सम पोर्शन ऑफ योर प्रीवियस नॉलेज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ योर प्रीवियस नॉलेज सो द फर्स्ट इज हाउ डू डे एंड नाइट अगर ऑन अर्थ we have studied earlier this also that how the day and night occurs on earth next is what term is used to describe the earth's revolution and around the sun another is how long does the earth take to do so in which hemisphere is our country located and the last is why don't the sun rays fall perpendicular at all the places on earth so these are the five questions which the book is asking you to recall which you have studied previously okay so um from this chapter you have something it has given you so can you tell mm, know the timings of sunrise and sunset in your area okay for the following period by direct observation or using calendars newspapers or the internet a specimen table has been given below record the entries entries for the month of june find the answers to the following questions and discuss them okay so let's see what are the questions among the records in the table which is the longest day okay so here is a table for you mm. see this table me you are given with the date from 19th june 28th june sunrise sunset duration day hai night hai or source kya hai information ka okay aapko isne bola hai you have to note the time of the sunrise uh, sunrise and sunset like suppose agar is we consider 19th june and it is asking for the time of sunrise on 19th june टाइम ऑफ द सनसेट ऑन द नाइनटीन जून ड्यूरेशन कितनी थी डे और नाइट की उस डे में एंड सोर्स क्या था इन्फॉर्मेशन का वट वॉज द सोर्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइक इट हैज़ गिवन कि इट कुड बी डायरेक्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन यूजिंग कैलेंडर हो सकता है बाई न्यूज़ पेपर और द इंटरनेट ओके स्पेसिमेंट गिवन है आपको टेबल का नाउ रिकॉर्ड द एंट्रीज फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जून फाइन आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन इन डिस्कस दैम ओके so the questions are among the records in the table which is the longest day so when you will record all the data in the table you will find out which is the longest day what difference do you notice in the duration of nights day by day nights ki duration mein kya aap difference dekhte ho guess the reason behind it how did you find out the duration of the night which two dates had days and nights of the same duration next is with the help of the table you saw how the duration of the day and the night changes do you think such a change occurs everywhere on the earth the last question is use the following format to record the duration of day time from 19th to 28th of every month from september to december in the same manner this table has given now let's see the geographical explanation you must have noticed the change in the duration of day time and the night time from the 19th to 28th june it takes 24 hours for the earth to rotate around itself it rotates from west to east the earth's rotation has enabled us to measure time in terms of days during a single day we experience different stages like sunrise midday sunset as well as daytime and nighttime to understand the changes in the locations of sunrise and sunset on the horizon let us carry out the activity given on the next page so moving to next page uh, there is a activity uh, the activity is about the experiment of the shadow okay so first step in the activity is paste a large white paper on one side of the table step 2 is place a torch in front of the table in such a way that it won't move it should not move okay 
The third step is stand a rod or a candle between the white paper and the torch as in the C figure 1.1. Next step is to direct the light beam of the torch in such a way that the shadow of the rod or, or the candle falls on the paper. Next is mark the position of the shadow on the paper and move the table along with the rod or the candle from one side to other slowly. Next is to observe and mark position of the shadow that falls on the paper and note the change in the location of the shadow. Okay. Next is geographical explanation of the same. From this activity you will realize that as the position of the table changes, the position of the shadow also, shadow also changes. If the position of the sunrise and the sunset on the horizon are observed for the whole year, you will realize that they keep on changing. So let us try to understand the reason behind this with the help of a next activity. So here is another activity which is for teachers. This activity is to be conducted throughout the year. Okay, Start this within 8 days after the school opens. Continue it till the end of December. Make observations once in a week at the time of sunrise or sunset as per your convenience. Okay. So take a thick stick about 1.5 to 1.7 meter long. Keeping some distance. Fix the stick near a wall that receives sunset, sunlight at the time of sunrise or the sunset throughout the year. Okay, like this in the figure it has shown you. You have to put the stick. And remember that the stick has to be fixed at the spot for a period of about one hour. One hour sorry, one year. After the observation, mark the position of the shadow for that date. Next is, if the position of the shadow changes, measure and know the distance between the earlier and the changed position. During the period of this activity, observe the place of sunrise and the sunset on the horizon as well. And the next part of the lesson should be dealt with in the month of September. Okay, so the, the, the next part of the lesson, ka, it should deal with the month of the September, okay? Next is study the duration of daytime and nighttime on the basis of observations from the table for the next month of September. What was the direction of the shadow of the stick in the month of September? And on which day was the duration of the day and the night the same? Um, think about that if the position of the shadow on the wall moved towards the north, in which direction does the location of sunrise or sunset appear to shift? Okay. So this was our chapter. And we are done with the reading of this chapter. So thank you.